<laughs> Hello, everyone. Um, we've decided to wed. <laughs> <gasps> What do you think their grandparents said? Never, never marry a smoo! Uh, they're a beastly bunch. They're a crazy crew. They drink black tea. Ooh. They eat green stew. Oh, never, never marry a smoo. Um, uh, never, never marry a smed. My dearest child, are you off your head? Hmm. They drink pink milk. They eat brown bread. <laughs> <gasps> never, never marry a smed. <laughs> Janet and Bill stole out that night while their family slept and the swoon shone bright. They clambered up to the Smed's red rocket Father Smed has forgotten to lock it. Bill pressed the button, and Janet steered. When their families woke, they had both disappeared. The Smeds said, Your Bill must have stolen our Janet! And taken her off to a distant planet! The Smoo said, It's Janet who's stolen our Bill! And lured him away from the Humpelty Hill! <laughs> the Smoos climbed into their rocket of blue. out a fearful shriek to see their hero in his beak. <laughs> waves his magic flower. 
Now, Superworm, you're in my power. And you must tunnel, writhe, and coil to find me treasure in the soil. <laughs> oh. Superworm is very cross to have a <laughs> lizard as his boss. But when he tries to slink away, the wizard's magic makes him stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea, said Zog. <laughs> then up and off he flew, his plaster gleaming pinkly as he zigzagged through the blue. A year went by, and in year two, the dragons learned to roar. you've been shown, you can practice on your own. And you'll all be champion roarers by the time you're fully grown. Zog went off to practice. some force. He kept it up for hours on end. But then his throat grew hoarse. Teacher holding her chalk, telling the class. Sit straight. Don't talk. This is the board, as black as soot. And this is the snail with the itchy foot. The snail! The snail! The teacher turns pale. <laughs> look! Look! It's leaving a trail. This is the trail of the tiny snail, a silvery trail, saying... Save the whale! These are the children running from school. <gasps> calling the fireman. Digging a pool. <laughs> squirting and spraying to keep the whale cool.
This is the tide coming into the bay. Villagers shouting <laughs> as the whale and the snail travel safely away. Each night, they flew to visit her and perched upon her sill. And one dark night, she told them that... The king has fallen ill. The king grew worse. My head is sore. My arms and legs feel weak. His skin had turned bright orange, and he found it hard to speak. He called a lot of doctors, a new one every day. He croaked. What is this illness? But they simply couldn't say. Then out from a shadow sprang Samuel Spratt. Oh, please let me be the busker's cat. He said with his <gasps> deafening. Huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Now 
Samuel Spratt is the <laughs> busker's cat. <laughs> Mm -hmm. With a meow that is loud and strong. Meow, meow, meow. The two of them meow, sing of this meow. and that. Though Samuel sings just a little bit flat. And people throw coins in the old checked hat. And this is their favourite song. Meow, meow, you and the meow, old guitar. Meow, meow. How perfectly, perfectly happy we are. Me, you and the old guitar How perfectly happy we are